You know what? If you desire junk food, deep fried food, you may as well do it yourself. So, what we're going to do today is make a kind of a sandwich with white crappy bread. We're going to put some cheese and salami. We're going to dip it into a batter and we're going to deep fry it. Okay? I'm a bit hesitant because you know, I'm not an advocate of junk food, but sometimes you want something fried and salty. All right, so what you need is white bread, the most ordinary of all white breads. And you put two slices side by side like that. Now, normally this is done with anchovies, but I know that some of you find anchovies a bit difficult to take. So I've chosen some salami instead. Here I have two types. You can take your pick. I'll mix it. A little bit of spicy and a little bit of ordinary salami. So you put it in there to uh, just to cover the bread. Then some standard mozzarella cheese. Now this cheese is very tasteless but it's got one quality. It melts. It goes, it goes gooey and, and oozy. You have enough salt in the salami anyway. Every Australian preserved meat is loaded with salt as a preservative. So now for the cheese, you just put it over the salami. You try to cover um, the salami as well as you can. You can never put enough cheese. There. Okay, so that's really simple as ABC. It already has this, that kind of appetizing uh, perfume uh, of, of salami. Put the bread on top, there you go, press it down and then you can cut it into four because when you put it in the batter and you fry it this will swell so you don't want something that's too big. It really is a snack, it should be treated as a snack not something you gorge on because it's uh, as I said it's not the healthiest of things. So there you have it. As I said, you can replace it with anchovies if the adults are watching. The cheese and anchovies is just sublime. Next, here I have a cup of flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. Now don't look at this. This is in a big kitchen. We, we do things the big way, but you can buy a little thing of baking powder. I'm sure that it is in your house, in the pantry and a very cold beer okay and so all you have to do is add progressively a little bit of beer at the time to the batter and I don't care if it's lumpy actually it's better if it comes out a little bit lumpy and it all disappears in the frying another little bit more Mm. Again, you don't want it too runny. You want it to stick to that bread. Okay, that's about ready. I'll let it rest for a second. Okay, so to repeat, salami, cheese, crappy bread, everything in here is very ordinary. Okay, this is quite substantial, so we'll try with two in the batter. It's a little bit messy. You might have to use your fingers and try to hold the two pieces of bread together. Okay? But it's quite resilient. Don't worry too much. Okay, now we'll go into the, the fryer. Look at it, you can see how it swells up immediately. And I like those little bits of lumpy flour because they crispen up into lovely bubbles. With good oil, good vegetable oil, don't waste olive oil on something like this. When it goes brown like that, it is ready. It might take the whole of one minute. Anyway, it's not something you walk away from. You just keep your eyes on it and you can just keep going, right? 
There you are. Now, this is called, this is called in Italian mozzarella in carrozza, which means that the mozzarella and whatever else, the salami or the anchovies are like as if in a, in a coach, you know? Between two pieces of bread, that's the coach. Bit of a silly idea. Call it what you like. For me, it's the best junk food. Now have a look at this. I'll cut one to demonstrate what it looks like inside. It smells really bready and delicious. And here you have your Ruzi mozzarella in your salami and it is so fluffy, so delicate, you can hear the crunch. Mm? No extra salt. See you next time.